Good afternoon, parents, school board, management committee, faculty, guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 18th graduation rites and the second virtual graduation ceremony of Paref Rose Hill School. We thank you for joining us in this solemn online ceremony to acknowledge our graduates for Batch 2021. We shall start our program with the Philippine National Anthem and an invocation to be led by Sofia Maxine Espino, one of the students from our graduating class. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we all come before you this afternoon in the spirit of celebration and gratitude. Despite not being physically present, we treasure these moments where our spirits are united in joy for this momentous event. My Batches, Pyre Frosel Batch 2021's graduation. It is another year of unexpected twists and turns, new experiences, and challenging encounters as the pandemic we face affects our academic, social, emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical lives. But truly amidst all these uncertainties, we are repeatedly made known to us. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Despite everything, this day is a testament to you, our Father. Your triumph and victory over all the negativities and evils we are facing right now. First of all, we thank you for the constant helping hand we found in our teachers, friends, and parents throughout our years in high school. We thank you for continuing to guide the Rosal teachers and staff who have played a key role in our journey as young ladies growing as Christian women. Within this establishment, we have found lifelong mentors and companions. With this, we'd also like to thank you for helping us find guardian angels in Rosal most especially in our beloved teachers, Mrs. Santuyo and Attorney Gatula. May their souls rest in peace. We give our gratitude for our supportive parents who have given us the opportunity to find our constants, to make memories, and to learn invaluable lessons in this educational institution. Most of all, thank you for the gift of friendship among us classmates. Without each other's constant love and unconditional support, we would not be able to stand here before you. With our every assignment done, every project passed, every test taken, every game won, we offered it up to you, Lord. Despite all these blessings, we also express our utmost sorrow for the times we were not thankful. We are sorry for the times we didn't value the helping hand and for the times we didn't acknowledge your presence in the victories we made. We are sorry for the times we faced the school year thinking we were alone. When we allowed disappointments to take hold of us. When we felt unloved. When we looked at the future without hope in our hearts. Not understanding that it was a necessary struggle which would only make us stronger. Dear Father, Please help us remember that we can always begin again. Now we pause to lift up to you our own personal prayer, our own big dreams, joys, and aspirations.
in this milestone of our life, continue to guide us in our journey like children being led by her loving Father. Please help us to learn from you, Jesus, that we tread on this worthwhile path with our alma mater's motto etched in our hearts. Tuco servio. I lead, I serve. Help us remember that we are made for greatness, made for love. Give us the perseverance and fortitude to never forget and always live the good Christian values of optimism and cheerfulness, order and hard work, love for truth, and above all, service to you and others. Help us to ever be aware that our knowledge comes from learning and our wisdom comes from you. Lord, like Mary, may our hearts always remember to find our home in you. Amen. Saint Asamaria, intercede for us. Holy Mary, our hope handmaid of the Lord, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is our privilege to have the Vice Chairman of the Rose Hill School Board to give us the welcome remarks, Mrs. Maria Regina Garcia. Good afternoon. In behalf of the Board of Trustees, Management Committee, Faculty and Staff of Paref Rose Hill School, it is with great honor that I welcome you, dear students, parents, and guests, to the virtual graduation ceremony of Rose Hill High School Batch 2021. Today, we celebrate with a lot of hope. Graduation is the culmination of your hard work and accomplishment as students. Look forward with a lot of optimism and look back with gratitude to those who help you achieve this major milestone in your life. Remember your last years in high school during these challenging times, not with the activities that did not happen or the things you missed out because in-person classes was not possible, but the many opportunities that came from learning online and learning at home. That it was indeed possible to learn together, that you can connect with your personal devices in a more meaningful way and have virtual get-togethers, that you were able to spend more time with your families like you never imagined, and that you were able to reach out more to others when opportunities came to be of assistance. It is often said, we cannot let situations like what we are in now go to waste. It was not easy, but you stayed the course and made learning work for you. You came out resilient and equipped for what lies ahead. You were part of the first 30 years of Rose Hill, and you will graduate remembering your journey as a student towards a life of knowledge and wisdom in every undertaking. Look back with appreciation to your administrators, teachers, mentors, support staff, and especially your parents who are equally celebrating your milestone with a lot of hope for your future. You will continue to be part of the Rose Hill family as an alumni. So always stay connected, whether online or offline. To our dear parents and guardians, thank you for trusting Rose Hill and the Paref education with a personal integral formation of your children. Your partnership with the school as your children's primary educators makes their learning truly integral and dynamic. 
Stand proud of all your efforts, dear graduates, more than your achievements. It's all about your journey that will prepare you for university life. Focus on what you can do right now and not the uncertainty of the future. Believe and be the highest expression or version of yourself. Take the skills and knowledge you have learned, more importantly, your holistic formation from Rose Hill as you continue your life journey in college. Your family and your school are proud of you. Be lifelong learners and continue to lead, to look for opportunities to lead because you want to reach out, more importantly, because you want to serve. Warmest congratulations Batch 2021. We would like to thank Mrs. Garcia for her opening remarks. At this point, we will have the presentation of graduates by Ms. Cristina de los Angeles, our senior high school principal, and Ms. Maria Teresa Marcelo, our executive director. Ms. Marcelo, it is with honor that I present to you the graduating class of 2021. These 17 students have fulfilled the academic requirements of the Department of Education and have reached the standard of PARF education comprising academics and personal formation. By the power vested in me as Executive Director of PARF Rose Hill School, and by the Department of Education. I now declare you Senior High School Graduates, Class 2021. Thank you, Ms. Marcelo and Ms. De Los Angeles. At this point, we will have Ms. Angeli Del Rio, Class Advisor of Grade 12, to announce the names of the students from the graduating class. This afternoon ceremony marks the culmination of six years of personal and academic formation of our students. As their Class Advisor, it is an honor to introduce to you Rose Hills High School graduates. From the Humanities and Social Sciences strand, Louise Marielle de Guzman Co. Marielle is known for being hardworking and disciplined, a passionate soul who is able and willing to give her 100% into everything that she does, whether in academics or extracurricular. She was a highly valued member of the Rose Hill Student Council and of Montage, the school's newsletter organization. In her free time, Marielle likes to watch K-dramas and dance moms. Kelly Rain Acuna Landicho. Rain may have been a new student in senior high school, but she is a well-loved member of the Rosal family and her batch. She is remembered for her courage in voicing out her opinions, especially when she knows that something is not right, and in sharing her many ideas in her humanities classes. Aside from being good in academics, Rain is also an excellent singer and dancer. Aniela Noel Arcega Luis. Nia is one of the creative souls of the class, and she shows this in being a props maker and a dance choreographer in their class's presentations, as well as being the layout artist for Pamalakaya. Outside of school, Nia writes stories about things she is passionate about like anime and K-pop. She is a curious person who cares deeply for her classmates, friends, and family. Jalea Ann Gabatin Maniago. Another of the newer members of the Rosal family, Lea is known as a warm, generous, and empathetic person who her classmates can come to for advice or a listening ear. 
She is always eager and ready to volunteer for tasks in class activities and projects. Aside from being an industrious student, Leia is also a passionate gamer and an amazing dancer. Angela Rosario Marquez Menez You could not utter the word talent in Batch 2021 without Angela coming to mind. Angela is one of the class's resident artists with a knowledge of theater, books, writing, singing, and graphic arts. In addition to being a virtuoso in the arts and humanities, Angela is also known as a social butterfly, very able to befriend everybody with her inviting and trustworthy personality. From the general academic strand, Nadine Kate Atud Cantos. Nadine is a kind, friendly, and giving person who is most notable among her classmates for playing the roles of Jose Rizal and Mang Serapio in their class musicals and productions. Aside from acting and singing, she is also an excellent dancer and choreographer. Nadine is also fond of playing mobile games and passionate in playing volleyball, having served as a volleyball head and a school varsity athlete. Eliza Audrey Charlize Mauricio Castillo Known for her leadership skills and intellectual prowess in academics, Audrey takes on the personality of someone who is strict and witty but also responsible and understanding. She has served her classmates as their class president and the school in being a member of the Rosal Broadcasting Team. Audrey also took on multiple key roles through the years as the Red Team Captain and as musical play director of numerous class productions. Jamica Sandra Galvez Echon Other than being a diligent student, Mix will be remembered for her kind and understanding personality. She has showcased her leadership and people skills in leading the school's blue team. In addition, Mix has also represented the school as a photojournalist in inter-school competitions. She is an amazing artist with fantastic calligraphy and painting skills. Sofia Maxine Carlos Espino Sophie has always served as a good example to everyone around her in kindness, virtue, and practicing the faith. Aside from being a good student, she is very dedicated to her many organizations. This includes Essentia, her own organization, the school student council, and Calfi lead. Sophie has also proven her potential for leadership in serving as the captain of the school's first ever gold team. Jazlyn Kyle Arboleda Foronda Jazz, according to her friends, is one of the purest rays of sunshine that can light up the darkness. Both her classmates and teachers can attest to her kindness, optimism, and concern for others. Her red team friends are also proud of Jazz's talent in being the resident hairstylist. She's a good hair braider and as an artist in creating props for her class and the team. Franchel Angeli Simbol Gutierrez Franchel may seem like a shy, quiet, and timid person at first, but she is actually a witty and funny person. Her sarcastic quips and honest commentary will always leave you laughing. She hates hugs, but she is a friend who is always there for you. She is also a very well-rounded person. She is a great football player, a hard-working student, a good actress, and many more. Ria Marie Passes Jimenez Ria is one of the shining stars of the Rosal football team. Her tall build could easily be spotted on the field as she makes amazing plays for her team. She is humble and reliable, serving her classmates as a class officer or in being their go-to math tutor. Ria will also be remembered for starring as Andres Bonifacio and many other leading roles in their class productions. Mirain Monique Frianeza Manalo To her friends and classmates, Nikki could be described as a truly amazing person. She is a model student when it comes to academics. She even represented the school in math competitions. In addition to this, she was a long-serving member of the Rosal Student Council, a football player, and a talented singer and video editor. Most of all, Nikki will be remembered by her classmates for being a mood maker and a good friend.
Eva Francine Reynera Patio. Francine is a diligent and hardworking student, side by side being a varsity softball player and a great actress in their class's productions. She is well noted by her classmates for being the class makeup guru and being the funny one with her amazing sense of humor and her myriad of entertaining stories. Franzine is generous with her time and always has a helping hand to offer anyone. Camila Kyle Samera Rivera Kyla may seem timid and soft-spoken, but for her classmates, she is a great storyteller. She can make any story come to life, whether these are stories from a new manga that she has read or about her own life experiences. Kyla is also admired for her strength of character and wisdom. With a listening ear, she is ready to give her classmates the advice they need. She is also good at dancing, volleyball, and softball. Justin Ann Medina Salundagi. Tin is heralded as the class's resident props expert and class artist. Her personality is very chill, casual, and easygoing, but her classmates are proud of how much they can depend on her as she will exert maximum effort to help them out. Although she is fiercely independent and laid back, her friends come to her for comfort and understanding. Tin is also a big fan of K-pop and anime. Ima Jean Neira Santos Ima, Green Team's captain, exhibits a lot of talent in many fields. First and foremost, she is a very passionate football player, a goalie both in Rose Hill's football varsity team and in other clubs that she actively participates in outside of school. Second, Ima is also adored for being a musical genius who played an instrumental role in Batch 2021's humorous musicals. Other than being the creator of the school-famed Ultimo Fuego, she is also a great audio mixer, singer, and guitar player. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Del Rio. Commencement exercises are not complete unless we recognize commendable performance. The first award to be given this day is the Loyalty Award. A loyalty award is given to a student who has studied in this educational institution consecutively from first grade in elementary to 12th grade in high school. May I call on once again Ms. De Los Angeles, our high school level principal, to announce the recipients of the loyalty award. The recipients of the loyalty awards are Nadine Kate A. Cantos Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo Jemica Sandra G. Echon Sophia Maxine C. Espino Aniela Noel A. Luis Angela Rosario M. Menes This year, we are pleased to announce some special citations for some of our graduates. These special awards are given in recognition of their outstanding performance in academics, extracurricular activities, and service to the school and community. The Special Awards Para kay Sofia Maxine C. Espino Iginagawad ang sertipiko ng pagkilala sa kanyang kontribusyon bilang natatanging mag-aaral na mahusay sa larangan ng paggawa ng patalastas sa asignaturang komunikasyon at pananaliksik sa wika at kulturang Pilipino.
Para kay Merain Monique F. Manalo, iginagawad ang sertipiko ng pagkilala sa kanyang kontribusyon bilang natatanging mag-aaral na pinakamahusay sa larangan ng pagtatalumpati sa asignaturang pagsulat sa Filipino sa Piling Larang. As part of the Campus Journalism Award, a Certificate of Recognition is given to Luis Mariel D. G. Co. for her valuable contributions and years of service as a writer, news editor, and associate editor for Montage. Mariel also spearheaded the management of Montage Online, the website of our school newsletter, which was launched this school year. Another recipient of the Campus Journalism Award is Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo for her contributions and award-winning performance as the captain of the Rose Hill Broadcasting Team. Audrey won the award for Best Director and led the team to be the overall champion in the division of Antipolo. She also spearheaded the broadcasting team's coverage of online school events and served as the master of ceremonies in many school activities. For her years of dedicated service to the Rose Hill Student Council, Marain Monique F. Manalo is presented with the Rose Hill Service Award. Nikki has served several positions in the Student Council throughout her high school years serving as the Council Vice President in her senior year. The Rose Hill Service Award is also presented to Sofia Maxine C. Espino for her inspiring efforts in serving the community as an active member of CALFI LEAD and for starting her own organization called Essentia. With Essentia, Sophie aims to generate income by selling homemade liquid soaps in order to help mothers from the Mahabang Parang community. A very special award to be given this year is the School Director's Leadership Award. This award is given to a graduating student who has shown a sense of commitment to and active participation in various school-related activities, has manifested selflessness and industry, civic-mindedness and loyalty to the school. She is someone who has exhibited a sense of responsibility through assuming positions of leadership with exemplary dedication and has shown reliability, dependability, and trustworthiness. The School Director's Leadership Award is proudly given to Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo. Audrey has served as the Rose Hill Broadcasting Team's Director, representing the school in inter-school competitions and leading the team to back-to-back -to -back championships in the Division of Antipolo. She directed countless class projects and class productions. In her senior year, she has been a model of selfless, persevering, and cheerful leadership as the batch class president. She has also served as the captain of the school's red team, the Red Ravagers. In addition to her many achievements, what is most admirable about our awardee is her attitude of generosity and cheerfulness in the many leadership roles she has taken on during her years as a Rose Hill student. Her schoolmates and teachers can proudly say that she is the embodiment of a true servant leader. The next set of awards are the Subject Achievement Awards. These awards are given to graduating students who have harmonized effort, proper attitudes and disposition with an excellent academic performance in a particular subject area. 
To qualify for the award, the graduating student should have obtained at least an average of 95% or A+, in the subject area in grades 9 to 12. The candidate should not have committed a major infraction during her stay in senior high school. The final department grade must not be lower than VG in grade 11 and grade 12. The subject achievement awardees are for mathematics comprised of the subjects Math 9 and 10, General Mathematics, and Statistics and Probability. Marain Monique F. Manalo. For science, which is comprised of the subjects Science 9 and 10, Earth and Life Science, and Physical Science, Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo. For Language and Communication, comprised of the subjects English 9 and 10, Oral Communication, Reading and Writing, and English for Academic and Professional Purposes. Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo. Para sa wika at komunikasyon, na binubuo ng mga asignaturang Filipino 9 and 10, Komunikasyon at Pananaliksik sa Wika at Kulturang Pilipino, Pagbasa at Pagsusuri ng iba't ibang teksto tungo sa pananaliksik, at Pagsulat sa Filipino sa Piling Larang. Ria Marie P. Jimenez For the Achievement Award for Social Sciences, comprised of the subjects History 9 and 10, Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics, Personal Development, Ideas and Disciplines in the Social Sciences, and Introduction to World Religions and Belief Systems. Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo, For the Humanities, which is comprised of the subjects Art 9 and 10, Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions, 21st Century Literature from the Philippines and the World, and Creative Writing, Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo. For physical education, comprised of PE 9 and 10, and the four semesters of health optimizing physical education subjects, Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo. Andrea Marie P. Jimenez. The next award is the Achievement Award in the Strand. This award is given to a graduating student who has the highest average in the specialized subjects in her chosen strand, not including the subjects that have been part of the Subject Area Achievement Award. The student must also have a final deportment grade of at least VG in Grade 11 and Grade 12 and has not committed a major infraction during her stay in senior high school. For Achievement Award in the Humanities and Social Sciences Strand, Luis Mariel D.G. Co. For Achievement Award in the General Academic Strand, Sofia Maxine C. Espino
Congratulations to the Subject Area and Strand Achievement Awardees. Now we have come to the point of recognizing the top graduates during the academic year 2020-2021. The Rose Hill Student Award is the highest award given to a student who has shown excellent achievement in academics and has actively and continuously pursued and practiced the virtues inspired by Christian ideals. A gold medal is given to a student with a final year-end academic average of A+, which is 95 to 100, and an O or VG in personal development and co-curricular grades while a silver medal is awarded to a student who has successfully garnered a final year-end academic average of A, that is 90 to 94.99, and an O or VG in both personal development and co-curricular. A student is disqualified from receiving an award under the following conditions. Having a grade of D or lower in academics, in any semester, and having committed a major academic and or conduct-related infraction. Nominations for these awards were subject to intensive deliberation by the faculty and with the approval of the management committee. This year's silver awardees are Nadine Kate A. Cantos Jemika Sandra G. Echon Daniela Noel A. Luis Jalea Ann G. Maniago Angela Rosario M. Menes Camila Kyle S. Rivera Ima Jean N. Santos This year's Gold Awardees are Eliza Audrey Charlize M. Castillo Luis Mariel D.G. Co. Sofia Maxine C. Espino Franchelle Angeli S. Gutierrez Ria Marie P. Jimenez Kelly Rain A. Landicho Meraine Monique F. Manalo Eva Franzine R. Patio De Los Angeles. Congratulations to all the awardees and congratulations also to the parents of the awardees. 
May you use your strengths to inspire, to lead, and to serve others. Let us give another round of applause to all our awardees. This year, we have invited an alumna to share some words of advice to the graduates as they embark on a new journey in their life. Our speaker was a Rose Hill student from 1992 until she graduated from high school in 2006. She then pursued her bachelor's degree in management engineering in the Ateneo de Manila University. She started her career with Unilever as a management trainee under the Unilever Future Leaders Program. She was eventually promoted to Senior Global Brand Manager for Dove Deodorant. Her career in Unilever made it possible for her to work abroad, sending her on assignments to Indonesia and Singapore. In 2017, after getting married, she joined her husband in Dubai, where she worked as a Senior Marketing Manager for MR Properties, the biggest real estate developer in the Middle East. In 2018, their family relocated back to the Philippines, and she worked as marketing director for Jollibee Foods Corporation. At present, she is the head of marketing for Newbury Street Retail, a division of Beauty Manila, the number one homegrown e-commerce brand in the Philippines. She is married to Andrew, and they have a 16-month-old son named Andres. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mrs. Marga Nazareno Villanueva to give the address to Class 2021. To the Rose Hill Board, MANCOM, faculty and staff, and most especially to the parents and graduates of Batch 2021. Good afternoon and thank you for this immense privilege of allowing me to speak to you today. It was a profound challenge to think about what it is I might share with this generation of graduates as you set sail on the next chapter of your lives. To come of age during the time of a pandemic, to have spent your senior year in quarantine, to make the first real direction-setting decision of your lives in the form of the course you're about to take, to look forward to the experience that college brings, knowing that this new world of ours brings with it a certain set of limitations. As I was mulling about what I might say today, I kept coming back to the idea of impact. Perhaps because this is a concept, a philosophy, a way of doing things and seeing the world that I learned as a student in Rose Hill. To help give context, I was part of only the fourth batch to have ever graduated from the school. And so we were forced to be pioneers. I was part of the first generation of students to transfer from the original little campus in Esteban, Nevada to the home we have today in Mission Hills. I was part of the first student council in 2002. I was the first green team co-captain in 2005. In many ways, if we wanted an experience, we had to create it. And we had to make sure we developed it in a way that could be enjoyed by many batches to come. Looking back, it was a unique way to be educated. It was not only about the formal education itself, but it was about the collective effort of building a community, building something that could last, creating an impact. It was challenging. It demanded individuals, both parents and students, to give more of themselves. But it was also worth the effort. It was meaningful. It was impactful. That impact was certainly outward. You will see the community's impact all around you when you walk through the halls of the campus. Each brick laid with a lot of effort and devotion throughout the school's 30 year history. But the impact was certainly inward for me too. If I have had some measure of success in my career so far, it is from this instinct, almost a compulsion not simply to do a job, but to be an impact maker. I am certainly privileged to have been raised by two parents who are impact makers themselves, who believe in walking through life to create a lasting difference around them. But I believe they would agree that their parenting philosophy was magnified by the Rose Hill community. The combination of these has fundamentally shaped me and the way I walk through my life. It puts on a permanent lens that you can't take off. 
one that compels you to see the world in terms of how you might make an impact. Impact is that brand of leadership that sets the school apart. It is the ability to create opportunities, the desire to want to solve problems, and ultimately at its most noble form, it is the desire to serve. When I was a student at Rose Hill, the school motto, I lead, I serve, had not yet been conceived. But somehow its meaning rings true to my experience in Rose Hill. Perhaps because it reminds me of this lens of impact. For what does it mean for leadership and service to hold equal weight? It means that we can't just serve for the sake of serving for the sake of reassuring ourselves that we have put some measure of good out in the world. Servant leadership requires more than that. It requires impact. It means using all of our talent, insight, intellect, creativity, ideas to make a lasting difference around us. This means that as you forge ahead, your education and upbringing here in Rose Hill asks of you not only service, that is rather obvious if you ask me, but also with the commitment that you fully hone yourselves in whatever paths you choose. That you carefully chisel away at your raw potential, that you aim for mastery, then use that mastery for good in whatever vocation you choose, to, to do the extraordinary things in your seemingly ordinary days. That is servant leadership. It requires impact. Now this may feel like a difficult pursuit, and it is, but it's also a lifelong pursuit, one that we are all on. So as you leave these halls of Rose Hill, albeit in a virtual way, how do you begin? How do you initiate the difficult pursuit of honing yourself? What I'd like to leave with you is three thought starters. First, be intentional with your curiosity. College and even your 20 and even your 20s will be an exciting, joyful period of discovery, a continuation of the learning you have begun here at Rose Hill. You'll begin to form a better understanding of your unique gifts and talents and start forming a point of view of what it is you might want to do with them. Now more than ever, the learning will be in your hands, so be intentional about it. You might find that you have a natural curiosity towards fields of practice or careers you might want to pursue. Investigate that. Don't just be satisfied with what's in your course syllabus. Every single person in your chosen major will take that same syllabus. But you are a unique you. And in your process of honing, you must invest the time in discovering what it is that fires you up and makes you tick. Read. Look for electives that feed your curiosity. Reach out to people who are in careers that interest you. Find mentors. Follow that curiosity, but do it with intention, with an earnest desire to find a direction you will dedicate yourself to. Second, collect experiences. Don't just learn, but do. As you follow your curiosity, put yourself out there and try your hand at things you might be interested in. Pick an org and learn how to work with people outside your Rosell family. Take internships. If there isn't one available, find a career mentor and ask that person if it's possible to shadow them at their job. The worst that could happen is for that person to say no, but the best possible outcome is that you gain an experience that becomes instructive to your process of honing. Lastly, be comforted in the knowledge that success won't come to you as a eureka moment. You won't wake up feeling like you've made it. I think success feels more like a deep conviction, a sense of certainty, not a certainty that you have somehow arrived at your desired destination, but that you are on the right path and that you should keep going. This deep conviction will carry, carry you through your challenging days. It will give you the endurance to go through rough patches, when you feel unmotiv unmotivated, when you want to retreat and change course, this deep conviction assures you that anything worth doing will not come easy. But this conviction does not come instantly. It develops only with time and preparation. So sit with the difficult periods, persevere. If you have done the work of following your curiosity with intention, you're likely on the right path. 
To graduate during the pandemic can feel like an opportunity lost, but I believe it has also created in you a special generation of leaders that are uniquely ready, uniquely prepared. You will have a maturity and a perspective that is distinct to this historic time. You will enter adulthood already knowing that the life we enjoy is so fragile and so fleeting, and that the positive change we want to see in this world often starts with the efforts of people, good people, who have honed themselves in order to create an impact in our world. Walk with that lens always. Lead, serve, and make an impact. Thank you and congratulations, Batch 2021. Thank you very much, Marga. Through the years, you have been carrying with you the ideals consistent with the para philosophy of leadership and service. And now let us hear from our dear graduates. To speak on behalf of the graduates, please welcome Eliza Audrey Charlize Castillo, one of the gold awardees, to give the students' response. To the members of the Management Committee, the members of the Parafrosal School Board, the faculty and staff, parents, friends, esteemed guests, and to my fellow graduates, I bid you all a good evening. Before I begin, I would like to extend my gratitude towards the team whose efforts have made this virtual graduation possible, as it is truly a blessing and a privilege that we are able to celebrate such a momentous occasion even if it may be online. I'll be completely honest in saying that it was quite challenging to think of what to include in this address, simply because it was difficult to accept that we were finally graduating. We have discussed amongst ourselves in the class over the last few months how the wide-scale shift to online learning has left our senior year feeling surreal. It is hard not to look back and think of all that could have been. We will never be able to experience walking up to the teacher's desk to submit our answers to our final exams as high schoolers, holding each other's hands as we spend our last day of being classmates together, waving goodbye with teary eyes to our fellow schoolmates, our teachers, and staff, walking down the iconic red carpets as we cheer each other on. Could this really be the farewell we have imagined for ourselves? Nevertheless, we look ahead, standing here today with our heads held high. As cliche as it may sound, I am very proud to say that we have made it. The past few years have been a whirlwind of emotions. We have felt both the overwhelming joys of triumphs, as well as the bitter sting of defeat, growing with each experience, improvising, and improving along the way. We have come out the other side as better people, no longer the too shy, wide-eyed students we were when we first climbed the steps of the high school building. We have come so far, and I'd like to commend each and every one of you for the efforts you have put in to your own development as a student, as a daughter, and as a friend. I have witnessed firsthand the struggles each has encountered over our many years in high school, and it never fails to amaze me how through every hardship, you each have become stronger and wiser. Of course, although our efforts can be commended, we truly could not have become the women we are today without the help of those around us. And so, on the behalf of the graduating batch, I would like to give tribute and show our appreciation for all who have guided us throughout the years. To the management committee, thank you for your decisiveness and warmth, without which our school could not have become the great establishment it is today. Under your leadership, Rosal has truly grown, and we are able to witness the vision and mission of our school be fulfilled more and more with each day. To our mentors and teachers, Thank you for teaching us not only how to become experts in your chosen subjects, but also how to become fine Christian women. With every lesson, it was never just about learning formulas, terminologies, or theories. It is thanks to your guidance and examples that we have learned the importance of applying everything we learn in our own lives, in the pursuance of service of others and of God. Although we were a tough batch to deal with, with our unnerving silences and unbearable shyness, you never gave up on us, and it is thanks to this that we are able to stand so tall today. To the Ates and Kulias of Paraf Rosel, thank you for making Rosel feel like our second home. 
even with just a simple smile as we pass you by in the hallway, our days are made even warmer. You have shown us the value of perseverance, and we will always be grateful for the silent support you have given us throughout our journeys in Rosso. To our parents, thank you for everything. The big things, the small things, and everything in between. From packing our lunches to giving us much needed advice, it is thanks to your unconditional love and support that we have been able to become the women we are today. You have sacrificed so much and you have worked so hard so that we would be able to grow happily. And we will forever be grateful for it, even if we may not always say it. And now to the graduating batch. Thank you, Nadine, for your positivity and enthusiasm. With your trademark laugh and endlessly giving personality, every day in school is made happier. You always know what to say to cheer us up, and we are forever grateful for it. Thank you, Marielle, for your courage. You have taught us the importance of our own voices, and it is thanks to your example that we are able to speak out for what is right. It is thanks to you that we are able to gain courage and confidence for ourselves. Thank you, Mix, for your amicability. You always work hard to ensure everyone is comfortable and welcomed in the class, amongst the different batches, in teams, and more. You are always somebody that we can turn to for comfort or for aid. Thank you, Sophie, for your wisdom. Like your name, you have always had a knack for knowing what advice to give or what to say to us during times of distress. You guide us to the right path, and you've always worked hard to help us grow as people. Thank you, Jazz, for your generosity. You have such a wonderful giving spirit, not only with material things like sanrios or colored paper, but also with your effort and time. Your kindness knows no bound, and the classroom is always happier and cuter for it. Thank you for Chell for your stability. You're one of the most reliable people in the class. You work hard and apply yourself in everything you do. A silent pillar in our class supporting us always, should we reach out for it. Thank you, Ria, for your leadership. You influence the class for the better, guiding us when it is needed and offering help when you can. During our most stressful project days, you have this admirable way of ensuring not only are we enjoying, but we are also working hard. Thank you, Rain, for your passion. Your honest love for learning and your dedication to the advocacies you believe in inspire us to take initiative in our own lives. Your example teaches us to be assertive and to be honest about the things that we believe in. Thank you, Nia, for your enthusiasm. You always volunteer to help, whether it be in writing, speaking, creating art, or more. You give your all in everything that you do, and you influence others to take action as well. Thank you, Nikki, for your determination. Whether as our fellow student, a member of the student council, or more, you have taught us the significance of hard work. You persevere, not only for yourself, but also so that you may help the class as much as you can. Thank you, Leia, for your kindness. Your motherly nature and open-mindedness makes you one of the people in the class that anyone can turn to for comfort. You have taught us the power of emotional strength and with you, we know that we will never be judged or turned away. Thank you, Angela, for your support. You're one of the greatest mainstays in our class, our personal hype man. Whenever we are feeling down, you always give us the strength to keep pushing forward, whether it be with your dazzling wit or your comforting presence. Thank you, Franzine, for your energy. With you, there is never a dull day in class. You seek to make those around you laugh. And thanks to you, our class is always louder and funnier making our long days in school more worthwhile. Thank you, Kyla, for your understanding. You have always had a deeper understanding of the important things in life, and we can always speak to you if we need any help or advice on such things. It is thanks to you that we are able to be reminded to appreciate the little things in life. Thank you, Tin, for your resourcefulness. You are able to adapt time and time again, and without your level-headedness and ability to acclimate to different conditions, we would not have been able to get through some of our toughest group projects, especially in our musicals. Thank you, Ima, for your perceptiveness. You have always had a wonderful talent for understanding those around you and can always tell whenever someone is feeling a little low. Although we might not always ask for it, you help us during these down moments, and we are always grateful for it. It never fails to amaze me how each member in our class is truly talented. Although we may be a quiet bunch, we can never discount our skills or underestimate our abilities. 
especially when we work together. It is an even greater wonder when you consider how truly unique we are from one another. How could such a wide range of personalities come together time and time again? To this question, I answer this. It is through the spirit of compassion that every member in the class is able to work for something greater than ourselves. From the little things, such as offering one another water after a hard practice, or to the bigger things, such as dedicating the late hours in a night towards the completion of tasks that will benefit the class. Batch 2021 has always held fast in their care for one another. We may be skilled on our own, but a man is not an island. You persist for each other, and it is because of this that we have been able to be successful in each of our endeavors. Even this year, when we were not spending 7 hours every day, 5 days a week, 9 out of 12 months together, face to face, the spirit still thrives. Motivating the members of the class to go out of their way and help each other through the physical, mental, or emotional struggles in these trying times. It is this spirit that has allowed us to forge ahead of whatever changes and curveballs are thrown at us. And it is this spirit of compassion that indicates the excellence each one of you shall achieve in your chosen professions, whichever choice you wish it to be. I hope that you carry this with you always, together with the values instilled in us by Rosal, as it is through these that we were able to rise with our nation. We are the youth of the Philippines, the hope for our country, and I am certain that with this sense of compassion, we will be able to take initiative in society, speaking for those who cannot, fighting for the truths others wish to be hidden, and creating a better quality of life for all those we encounter. I truly believe that the future of our nation is brighter, especially in hands of people such as yourselves. Now, we may not have gotten the goodbye that we wanted, but this is simply a sign for us that it is not quite our farewell yet. Although our paths will diverge from this point onward, as we enter different colleges and take different careers, we will meet again one day. Although the future is uncertain, there are two things to be sure of. The first is that we will make it out like we always do. There will be tough times ahead, and we will encounter many difficulties as we charge headfirst into the intricacies of adult life. However, I am certain that no matter what, we shall rise. There may be times where you fall, but we will get back up again. And the second is that we will always have each other to fall back on. A family of rosebuds just one call away. In times of hardships, I know that we can always trust each other to lend a helping hand, should any one of us call for it. Spending my time with a batch like this has been one of the greatest honors of my life. You have made my years in high school fulfilling, and I hope that we are able to still stay strong as we move ahead into our own lives. And so, we take the dive into the unknown. I can't wait to see what life has in store for all of us. Godspeed and congratulations, Batch 2021. Thank you, Audrey, for that very personal and heartfelt speech. Batch 2021 is well known by both their schoolmates and teachers as a batch that is truly blessed with a creative and artistic spirit. Their musicals and drama productions will never be forgotten along with their cheerful dance numbers and angelic song performances. Even during this pandemic, they never ceased to amaze with their online video presentations and projects. Here is Mireen Monique F. Manalo to introduce a video compilation of Batch 2021's memorable moments as Rose Hill students. Good evening. High school was definitely an adventure for Batch 2021. Just like the legendary pioneers of history, we ventured forward into the unknown and unpredictable future. From producing one of the first original class musicals, leading the newly shuffled intramural teams, to ultimately experiencing our senior year entirely online, it was certainly frightening and challenging facing the recent unforeseen circumstances. Yet along the way, we found lifelong friendships and formed irreplaceable memories that got us here to this very day. Congratulations once again to my fellow graduates and thank you to everyone who supported, encouraged, and believed in us. Now before we turn the next page 
and begin a new chapter in our lives. Let's take a look back at the incredible journey of the Parafrosal class of 2021. Hope when the water rises, you built a wall. Hope when the crowd screams out, you're screaming your name. Hope if everybody runs, you choose to stay. Hope that you fall in love and it hurts so bad.
As graduates, Class 2021 is now part of our alumni, dedicated to pursuing and promoting the ideals of their alma mater as they carry on further studies and become engaged in honest work and undertakings. May we call on once again Mrs. Marga Nazareno Villanueva, Batch Representative of Class 2006, to lead the oath. May I ask each of the graduates from her home to please raise her right hand. I state your name, a Rose Hill alumna. Having received integral information from my alma mater, do solemnly pledge to develop myself actively and continuously. To my full human potential with freedom and responsibility. I promise with a deep sense of loyalty to uphold and carry to other environments the Rose Hill ideals. So as to give witness to Christian womanhood in society and ultimately, be of service to God and my country. Congratulations and welcome to the Rose Hill Alumni Association. The final song is a tribute to the institution that has nurtured these young women through the years. We invite everyone watching from their screen to join together in singing the Rose Hill School Hymn.
Since the current situation still does not allow us to have the traditional recessional of graduates for this year's graduation, we would like to request each family and guest from their homes to give a round of applause to our graduates. of the Parrot Rose Hill School Board, the Management Committee, and the Teaching Faculty. We wish to thank you for joining us tonight in such a unique celebration. The current circumstances will not stop us from giving our dear graduates due recognition. We have sent your medals to your home so your family members may don them on you. Congratulations once again to all the graduates as well as to their parents. A pleasant evening. <laughs>